you invested at Facebook at a five million dollar valuation. Uh, yes, yeah. But they had they you know they had a hundred thousand they had a hundred thousand users. It was it was growing really fast. Um, they only needed money to buy more computers because there was so much demand for the service. It's always that's actually always a pretty good sign. And Sean Parker introduced you to him to Zuckerberg, or he had you? Sean Reed had looked at it a little bit, so there were a few different points of contact. What was the first meeting like? You know, it, it was not like a show on Shark Tank. It was uh, Zuckerberg was 19 years old. He was still pretty introverted. Uh, Sean did most of the talking. Um, so if you, you know, if you base it, people always exaggerate how important these pitch meetings are. Uh, Reed Hoffman um, and I had spent about a year looking at all these social networking sites before that. So we were, you know, we were ready to write the check before we, before we met, and didn't really matter what people were going to say. And what was it about that business that made you? so convinced it would be a game changer. Because I remember at the time, you know, we weren't all convinced. There was something you guys knew that we didn't know. Well, um, I don't know, a few different different pieces, but I think I think there was an intensity of usage that was already very, very big. It was very promising. Um, it had all these network effects, which I think are never to be underestimated. There was something about the, the college market that was probably being underestimated. I think investors always have a bias to invest in things they themselves use, and they undervalue things they don't use. So there aren't very many investors who are in college. So anything that's just big on college will be somewhat underrated systematically. Um, you know, I, I, we had, I, I've been, it was a bunch of different things that added up like that.